Yo, what's going on YouTube? How you guys doing? So we are back. I've not uploaded in quite a long time because I'm currently nursing an injury to my shoulder. You guys might have seen it in the last video, but you know what? It's been so long since I made something. I just want to make something. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be attempting the Bubba Adept again. But this time, I'm going to be playing one-handed. So maybe just to fill you guys in, I'm actually going to turn on my webcam real quick, which is not something I normally do for YouTube. But here you go. So hello, hi, the quality is probably not going to be great. Um, oh wait, you can't really see because it's so dark. Hold on, let me fix this. Okay, now the quality is even worse, but at least you can see. Okay, so I cranked up the gamma because I'm wearing black on black, so it's kind of hard to tell. But you can see my arm is in a sling. You, this arm, I can't use it. This arm is dead. It's dead. It's absolutely dead. So we're not going to be using that arm at all. And we're literally just going to be using my right hand, and that's it. Not my left hand, just my right hand. Now, just to quickly explain how this is done, ignore my kind of dirty mouse pad. Just to quickly explain how this is done, I'm, go I'm going on the tutorial uh, uh, to show you. So as you can see, my arm in a sling. Uh, I'm currently streaming out of a basement, or I'm recording this out of a basement. This is my mouse setup. I cannot use this arm. You see this hand right there? I can't really use it at all, right? But I have this mouse, and it's got a bunch of side buttons, and I basically bound a bunch of buttons to go forward and backwards, right? So... I basically just 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 rebound forward, backwards, and I bound spacebar and control. And also, if I go left and right on my on my on my scroll wheel, I can strafe. Although it's really difficult to do that mid game. Um, and see, I end up doing things like that, like swinging accidentally. And I can kick things using another button on my on, on my mouse. I basically just rebound a bunch of things to my mouse. So again, my hand down here has nothing to do with anything. This thing is chilling. My other hand doesn't exist, and I just play with this one. So we're gonna try our best to do Bubba Adept with this. I have no idea whether it's gonna work. I have no idea how well it's gonna go, but I mean, we're gonna try. So I guess let's do it. All right, so this has been a challenge even when I had access to both of my hands. So I don't really expect this to be successful, but also like imagine the, the like poetic justice if I did get it, right? Cause I feel like I should have gotten it. And a few of the, in a few of the past videos have definitely gotten really, really close. To the point where I've had like really good performances in the game, but they just kind of didn't count. So I feel like, and obviously I'm biased here, but I feel like I deserve it, right? I'm gonna try this. Oh, I don't know where she went. Oh no! I said to press the button, but I failed to. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta be honest. Like, like doing like interesting movements while also chaining your chainsaws together is significantly harder when you're doing it all with one hand. You know? All right, well, we got her, which is nice. It's a pretty early down, so that's good, as long as we don't get pallet saved. <gasps> yeah, we're good. Okay, Steven, what's up? Oh, I couldn't quite strafe, but that's okay. We're gonna hook him. I wouldn't mind stopping that gen from getting done, but this Steve is also like really close. Like he is hanging out really, really nearby. This guy's also not in a very good spot. So like, you know, you know what I mean? You should be able to make this pallet. You know, throw it, I would imagine, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't see a world where he doesn't throw it. He vaulted last second. I think we can just hit this guy once and then go about our life. Well, I mean, maybe we can hit him twice. He's kind of just doing nothing right now. Like, what's he... Did he just dead heart that? Was that like the best dead heart I've ever seen? Did that man just bait for like 30 minutes and then still dead heart me? Because if so, that's crazy. That's actually wild, dude. But hey, you know what? I can actually just be excited about Dead Hearts now. Well, that didn't quite work the way I was hoping it would. Although he tried to greet it. I'm dropping frames everywhere. Oh, God. I don't know why I just dropped a bunch of frames. That was weird. Okay. Well, that guy just completely dicked me. That guy just literally completely dicked me. Like, that guy just made me look stupid. That's what feels bad. I needed to down him quickly. The fact that that, the fact that, that chase didn't end quickly. Like, like that Dead Heart, honestly, probably... Like, I think that dead heart alone just lost me the adept, honestly. I really needed to down him quick, because, like, these early downs are so important, too. Because, uh... Because this is what gets you the gatekeeper emblem, you know what I mean? If you don't get these downs early, then you don't... Well, you know... You know what? This guy was already hooked, right? I wouldn't mind, like, maybe fast-forwarding his way out of the match. Just saying. Just saying. I wouldn't be entirely opposed to fast-forwarding this guy's way out of the match. But I think the early downs are really important because that's what keeps your gatekeeper on them high, you know? If you don't get a lot of early pressure, then you end up losing gens quick, and then you end up getting a really bad gatekeeper. So in order for me to get quad iridescence, I definitely need to keep this pressure going early. Um, They have a boon here. That's interesting. I don't know if I'll be able to do this, but I think I will. Ah, I didn't hit the button. Hmm. Interesting. 
These guys seem to be pretty solid at the game, which is unfortunate. I gotta get rid of this boon right quick. She went around back. Not really sure what exactly they're doing. They healed the Steve. Okay. I think I might just try to kill this Fang, you know? Like, at this point, I feel like killing this Fang would be very beneficial to me. So that seems like possibly a play that I might make. Like, this, like there's an injured guy going for the unhook right now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like you know? Like, 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 like you feel me? Gonna hit him before he can dead hard. I'm just kidding. He's literally the dead hard god. I don't understand how this Dwight is able to dead hard me every single time, no matter what. Like, last time, I... I waited to swing, and this time I didn't wait to swing, and yet both times he was able to dead hard me. Like, it just seems crazy. I don't know how he's able to do it. I mean, I'll hit you all. That's fine. I'm still going to make this. Like, there's no, and there's no world where I don't make this. This is actually pretty good for me, honestly. This is actually, this is actually very good for me. Also, that Fang was out there self-caring, and I just saw her. So I could, again, I could just kill her because I know she's on death hook. Ah, oh, man, my movement is just like a little bit not smooth because of fucking only being one handed like that mind game actually kind of worked on her. I just like my my like movement wasn't smooth. I had a little bit of a hesitation, so I didn't quite get it. The Steve is going. I mean, I'm just going to I'm just going to get the Steve. Look, man, you guys can call me a camper all you want, but I don't give a fuck. I'm playing one handed. I'm trying to get this adept, baby. The good news, too, is that because these guys are dicking around so much around the unhooks, it's giving me a lot of opportunities to get like, I think my gatekeeper emblem is phenomenal right now. I think. If this guy would have dead hearted me, I swear to God, I would have lost my mind. Like I would have fucking lost it. I would have absolutely lost if this guy dead hearted me there. Because again, that Dwight somehow is like, a god of new dead hard and i've tried using that new dead th th that new dead hard and that shit is hard as fuck to use so this guy is either like uh, he's a needle he's either an auto dead harder or he's a fucking literal god of games like a literal genius gamer i mean okay there he goes jesus man okay so he's not a god of games it turns out he's just or sorry he's he's not an auto dead hard it turns out he actually is just a god of games in case you guys were wondering he actually is, in fact, just a god of games. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna pick up. Well, being. Oh, I think I might have went too far in. Oh, I'm trying to back up. Hey, we in there, baby. We in there, baby. I was trying to like pick him up with my with my big old bubba booty, like poking out just enough to block the 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 pallet, and I think it worked. I actually don't want to chase this guy close to the hook. Because that hurts, I can't remember what emblem, but it hurts one of my emblems. Maybe my chaser? I don't know. It might be chaser. And chaser is like, again, is the emblem I'm kind of worried about. So I actually don't want to chase. I don't want to chase that guy too close to where I was. The Fang is who unhooked here and, and healed. And she's on death hook. So, you know? You know what I mean? Like, you know? Like, you feel me, man? You know what I mean? Like, do, like you, like, do, like, do, like, do you get me? I'm going to hit her once. Gonna, we're going to knock the medkit out of her hand. Um, I mean, if we just chase her down and kill her now, we've been sitting at four gens for a while. I know that they have a few gens that are almost done, but we've been sitting at four gens for quite a while, so I think our gatekeeper of them is going to be really good. Um, you're just going to hold W, isn't she? No, she doubled back. Fuck. It sounded like she was just going to hold W no matter what I did, but she eventually, she eventually reacted. All right. Uh, uh fuck man not quite god this is good this is tough see this is like not a great chase now though like she made it into like the map and now it's kind of hard to catch her i don't know if this is the right decision or not because they're about to like they're about to do it they're 100 they're, they're about to do a bunch of gens now okay where's she going she's not going to the window either which is interesting well, she tried to greed and just hold W instead of throwing any pallets, which is weird. I guess she just didn't expect me to have really good add-ons, which is probably a pretty fair assumption. Like, that was a really far chainsaw, you know? She probably just didn't expect me to chainsaw that far, which, again, is decently understandable. Bro, where can I go? This guy might have breakout. He's been, like, doing this stuff, and he also tried to sabo earlier, too. Yeah, he almost undenied. Yeah, he does have breakout. Fuck, dude. No, man. Was there a hook nearby that I just didn't see? Why was I not able to hook her, dude? There was there was one right behind me. Oh my god, dude. Oh, that's pain. I thought she would try to double vault, but she didn't. 
Oh, I'm throwing. I threw. I 100% threw. Okay, we'll smack her one. She'll actually die now unless the Steve Sabo's it. He didn't. Uh, that's so bad. I'm pretty sure her escaping from the grass too also really, really hurts your one of your emblems. I don't know what, malicious or something. Like I'm pretty sure your like malicious emblem takes a really big tank from somebody escaping out of your grass. So I think that just threw the whole thing. It's really unfortunate that these guys are actually like pretty confident survivors. Like, like, the, like, the, like again, the the big thing that I've noticed all throughout this entire Bubba Adept series has been the fact that I literally beg and fucking cry and bitch and moan about the fact that I get baby, baby like dog shit survivors all the time up until the fact that I'm trying to like up until I'm trying to do a challenge or something and then we get like the like we actually get like really good matchmaking and it's so it's so weird to me because like when I'm trying to do like an interesting build or whatever and I'm trying to see like how it works that's when I want good matchmaking right like that's when I want to get survivors that are good and I want to see like how it works against people that are like decent but then when I do stuff like this, is when I want the more easier games. But DBD is just like, nah. No, I don't, I don't think you will actually. Mm, no, mm, no, I don't think you will actually. Mm, no. So I'm like, all right, cool. Cause yeah, these three just like, just slammed out basically every gen. Like it's, it's so tough. Um, and again, it's really hard to like actually catch them because there's a lot of good pallets on this map and they're also pretty decent. They also can just play safe and throw the pallets if they want to. Like, this is not a good chase to take, but also, like, what can I do? They're going back to the gen. I guess I gotta go pressure it. I don't know. I need to get it down, like, now. Hmm. I thought he was right. What? I don't understand. I didn't even mean to hit that. I don't understand where he went. There was, like, blood on the gen, but then it just, like, wasn't there anymore. I heard the Nia, like, on the other side of the wall. I don't understand what happened to the blood on like there was blood on the gem, but it didn't really look like it trailed away Maybe it trailed off to the left and I just didn't see it. I don't know, but that was really odd I just like did not see it at all Which was really weird Um Yeah, shit You know what? I'm just gonna call this a warm-up game, dude. This is undeniably just a warm-up game, right? Yeah, see he didn't fall for that either. These guys are like they're like they're like they're they're, they're undeniably like pretty good and I need to basically play like perfectly against them in order to catch them in, in chase, which I can't really do playing one handed. You know, like I can play like decently, but I'm like mostly restricted to just holding W and, and S, which makes it really fucking hard. Like you, like you see how unsmooth that was? Like that was like the least smooth moonwalk in the world. Same like same with that one. Like my like my moonwalks are just not very smooth at all. And it's very, very unfortunate. We can down them there, then maybe head back to the gen to see if they're working on it. They are. Yeah, sprint burst away though, which is unfortunate. Mm, I think I gotta just commit here, right? But she has the good window too, dude. It's like even this I can't do. Yeah, I can't even get, I can't even move, Jesus. I couldn't, I, holding W wouldn't work there for some reason. I literally just couldn't go where I needed to go. That was horrible. Okay, um, I'm gonna go kick this. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really see how I. Yeah, I was gonna say they're they're probably about to pop the gen. I don't, I don't see a way I win this. That's so unfortunate. I think we, I think we could have won this. Like, I would, I'm, I'm not gonna say easily, but we definitely could have won this, like multiple times. Like, I think had we killed the Fang earlier, had we not gotten dead hard by the Dwight like a bunch of times, there was definitely a lot of different opportunities where we could have, I think, got the uh, adept here. But even now, like even here, even if I kill the the Dwight or whatever, I don't know if it'll even be enough. Like it literally might not even be enough. Cause they got all the gens done. I know that my again, I can't I think your malicious takes a hit whenever you let someone wiggle off your shoulder. Um so like my malicious is is, is like gonna take a hit. There's still a chance they could unbreakable. I also don't know if I got nine hooks. I feel like I probably didn't. I'm at what, like six right now? Actually I think it'll be exactly nine. Come on, use your fucking dead hard. Goddamn fucking dead hard ends up being the exact same thing as it was before. Although I do have a lot more respect for people that, that, that can actually pull off a good dead hard. Like the fact that this guy dead harded me twice, I'm like actually impressed with it. But also, man, it, it's it's so silly how you still have the same interaction of like, all right, go on, use your dead hard. Go on, go on, I'll wait, use your dead hard. I mean, I doubt this is it. I doubt it. But there is a slight possibility this could be it. Like there's a, there's at least like a minor possibility that maybe because I did 4K 
we did hold them at four gens for a long time. So even though they got all the gens done, there's still a chance that we got iridescent gatekeeper, but I don't know. I it's gonna be close. Like I'm like I'm worried about gatekeeper. I'm worried about chaser. I'm worried about every emblem. I guess I don't I don't know of any emblem. I think the only emblem that might be secured is devout, because I do think I got nine hooks. I'm pretty sure we've gotten nine hooks. So I think Devout is safe, but outside of Devout, I don't know if any other emblem is safe. I think the rest of them are all like, they, we could have got it, but we might not have. You know what I mean? So I guess we'll see. I mean, let's go to end game, and I guess we'll see. Hey, if not, though, at least it's a warm-up game, right? At least it's a warm-up game. So let's go and find out. Oh, shit. Wait, we actually got it. Wait, this was actually the... Wait, really? This was actually the game that got it? I, I was, like, very unconfident that it was this game. What? <laughs> well... I mean, there you go. I guess I got it. That That's crazy. I, of all the games, I thought this was honestly going to be the one where I didn't get it. Yeah, see, it's malicious. You, 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 I lost three points because they because they escaped my grass at one point. My, my grasp? They escaped my grasp, not grass. Uh, wow. Of all the games to get it, I can't believe I got a good chaser emblem. Wow, dude. That is crazy. That is fucking wild, man. That is wild. Hi, GG's friends. Who is Tofu? Who is Tofu? What are these guys saying to me? What? What? Who is Tofu? I am One Arm Andy. Hello? I am One Arm Anderson. Hello? You please tell me you brother got you account. You... What? You say? God, typing is so hard. What handed? You what you say? You what you say? <laughs> I I think I actually know Chimurita, who is who I like pseudo tunneled out, which I kind of feel bad about, but also like they're also the other one being like pretty chill about it. Um, <laughs> what is this guy saying to me, dude? You what? You you what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking hit him with the the old you what? What? <laughs> Anyway, I can't believe I fucking got it, dude. Dude, I mean, honestly, it's like justice. One-handed. I got it one-handed coming back. I mean, I'll take it, dude. GG's, failures. GG's. Well, I don't know. I mean, there you have it, guys. I am actually surprised myself. Normally, in my adept videos, whenever I actually get my adept on the first try, I do, like, a victory lap game where I do, like, a different build, and I just, like, play a fun build on the killer. But again, playing one-handed is actually really difficult. So I'm going to just skip the victory lap uh, game for this one and just kind of call the video there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is like, again, to me, it feels very like poetic justice that I came back and did it literally one-handed because I feel like I earned it. Again, I feel like I should have gotten it in so many of the previous videos with, with, with some of the games now I played. As a matter of fact, that, that game I just played was probably one of the, not, not one of the worst, but like, that was definitely not nearly as good as some of the other Bubba games I had where I feel like I should have gotten it. So, man, the emblem system is fucking weird. I don't really understand it. It don't make much sense to me. I'm just happy to be done with the dead Bubba because now I can finally move on to others. And, uh, hey, hope you guys like this. If you guys did like it, feel free to give the video a like. Helps you out with the algorithm. Subscribe if you want as well. Also, feel free to give me feedback on, like, what you guys want to see. If you guys don't mind these, like, one-handed killer videos for a while, I don't know how long I'm going to be... Um, one-handed I should hopefully be able to start using my other hand relatively soon But if you guys like this kind of thing if maybe you want if you want me to keep the webcam up while I play or something I don't know feel free to let me know Um, and yeah, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm getting out of here. Have a good rest of your night guys. See ya. I'll take care of see ya Uh, see you later. See ya